human nails grow throughout the life. From first months in the mother's womb to the last days of our lives, strong nails show that the body gets enough of all the necessary microelements and vitamins. But any change in the structure or color of the nails can be an important signal that there are problems in the body. There are certain signs, and when they appear, you should make tests and consult a qualified doctor as soon as possible. So here are four signs of good nails. The nail plate is pale pink or flesh-colored. The structure is smooth, without hollows or bumps. The nail is firmly attached to the tissue of the finger. There is a light area near the cuticle. If this is the description of your nails, it means that you're healthy and you take care of your hands and feet, eat the right food, spend a lot of time outdoors and do sports. So what are the most common nail complaints? Changes in nail color, such as discoloration of the entire nail or a dark streak under the nail. Changes in nail shape, such as curled nails, thinning or thickening of the nails. Separation of the nail from the surrounding skin, bleeding around the nails, swelling or pain around the nails, and failure of nails to grow out. Often these symptoms are temporary. They may be caused by a hit, poor manicure, or some other illness. However, these conditions are not normal. Consult your doctor or dermatologist if you notice one of them. Before we move on, please subscribe to the channel to get notifications about the new videos. We are doing our best to create interesting content for you. So here are the nail changes that may indicate dangerous diseases. Number 1. Black lines. Also called a splinter hemorrhage, black lines which can appear brown or dark red look like splinters. They can appear multiple times. They're most likely caused by a trauma to your nail, such as accidentally slamming a door on your finger. But it can also be a symptom of melanoma formation. If a rough dark line appears on a nail, you should consult a dermatologist who will definitely prescribe a test for skin cancer. Watch out for this symptom. However, in most cases the line is the result of blood vessel inflammation under your nail and should disappear over time as your nail grows. Number 2. Peeling of the nail. This is likely caused by external trauma to the nail itself. By using your nail as a tool, pressing into the nail too firmly, or removing acrylic nail polish. Nails can also peel if you soak your hands for too long in sudsy water. Here's a trick to figuring out whether it's an internal or external cause. Are your toenails also peeling? If so, it might be an internal cause, such as iron deficiency. If not, it's probably external. If you think it's internal, add iron to your diet with lentils, red meat, fortified cereal or baked potato skins. You can also take biotin. If the cause is external, keep your nails moisturized by applying lotion after any activity that might dry them out. Number 3. Infectious diseases. Fungal infections normally develop over time, so any immediate difference in the way your nail looks or feels may be too subtle to notice at first. Why does it develop? A fungal nail infection occurs from the overgrowth of fungi in, under or on the nail. Fungi thrive in warm, moist environments, so this type of environment can cause them to naturally overpopulate. The same fungi that cause jock itch, athlete's food and ringworm can cause nail infections. If you get a manicure or pedicure at a nail salon, be sure to ask how the staff disinfects their tools and how often they do it. Tools such as emery boards and nail clippers can spread fungal infections from person to person if they are not sanitized. Number 4. Curved nails. The curving can begin so gradually that many people are unaware it's happening. As the nails continue to curve downward, fingertips often swell and the nails start to feel spongy when pressed on. If you notice your fingernails start to curve, it's time to see a board-certified dermatologist. Curved nails can be a harmless trait, which runs in the family. Curved nails can also be a sign that you have a disease in the lungs, heart, liver, stomach or intestine. Number 5. Yellowness A fungal infection is the most common cause of yellow nails. If the condition persists, the nails may continue to deteriorate and become thick and crumble. In some cases, nails that remain yellow despite repeated treatment can be a symptom of thyroid conditions, psoriasis or diabetes. In rare situations, yellow nails can indicate the presence of skin cancer. A condition called yellow nail syndrome is indicated by continually yellow nails and respiratory or lymphatic problems. Number 6. Deep grooves or gaps. Lines that run the length of a nail are common and usually nothing to worry about. If you see deep grooves that run the width of your nail like the ones shown in this picture, it means that something slowed or stopped your nails from growing for a while. 
a fever, injury, chemotherapy or major stress can cause your nails to grow slowly or stop growing. If you cannot think of what may have caused your nails to grow slowly or stop growing, see your dermatologist or primary care doctor. Once you find and get rid of the cause, nails often start growing normally. Number 7. Big claw-like nails If your nail has become thick, changed color and bent like a bird's beak, it's a sign of chaotic cell division occurring in the plate. Quite often such deformation is a symptom of psoriasis, ichthyosis, circulatory system ailments, heart or lung pathologies. However, it may be just a generic predisposition. Don't worry if all your relatives also have such beaks. Number 8. Nail in the form of a spoon. Spoon nails are thin and soft and shaped like a little spoon that is often capable of holding a drop of water. There are many causes but the most frequent one is iron deficiency anemia. The medical name for spoon nails is koilinikia, from the Greek words for hollow and nail. Spoon nails look like the center of your nail is scooped out. The nail becomes thin and the outer edges turn up. Your nail may crack and the outer part may come out of the nail bed. Some infants are born with spoon nails, but they eventually grow out of it. Spoon nails usually develop on fingernails, but they can also occur on your toenails. The most common cause of spoon nails is iron deficiency or anemia. This makes your level of red blood cells lower than normal. Number 9. Wavy nail Wavy nails can be sign or symptom of transient conditions, environmental factors, or immune-based diseases such as rheumatoid, arthritis or lichen, metabolic disorders, malnutrition or fungal diseases. They can also change with aging. As an individual grows older, the levels of natural oil and moisture in the nail plates decrease and so the ridges become prominent with age. Treatment options for wavy nails vary depending on the cause of the sign or symptom. Contacting a doctor is advisable for further examination and more effective therapies. Number 10. Clubbing nails Clubbing happens when the nails become rounded and the tips of the fingers swell in size. It is also a slow process and can take years before it becomes evident. Nail clubbing is sometimes the result of low oxygen in the blood and could be a sign of various types of lung disease. Nail clubbing is also associated with inflammatory bowel disease, liver disease and AIDS. Number 11. Color changes Color changes occur in nails for many reasons. A black nail may be caused by an injury. Blue nails may occur as a side effect of a medicine. Blue nails are also caused by problems that reduce the amount of oxygen in the blood, such as asthma, severe anemia, cold exposure, exposure to high altitude, peripheral arterial disease or shock. Green discoloration may be caused by bacterial and fungal infections. Pale white nails may be caused by nutritional disorders such as anemia or zinc deficiency or other medical problems. White specks, spots or bands in the nail leukonychia, are common with mild injury. You may not even have been aware of the injury. These marks can last for weeks or months and go away on their own without any treatment. Number 12. Red spots Tiny blood spots that appear underneath the nail are called splinter hemorrhages. They look like splinters and occur when tiny blood vessels capillaries along the nail bed are damaged and burst. Small amounts of blood from the damaged blood vessel become visible through the nail. The bleeding creates a splinter-like line in the direction of nail growth. Splinter hemorrhages can occur on your toenails or fingernails. Number 13. Notches and curled hook-like edges of nails. The tip of the toe becomes thicker and the nail curves along its axis or towards the pad of the finger. The most common cause of the symptom is pulmonary disease. Among other causes, there are gastrointestinal diseases and liver cirrhosis. Number 14. Onychomadesis Onychomadesis is a periodic idiopathic shedding of the nails beginning at the proximal end, possibly caused by the temporary arrest of the function of the nail matrix. One cause in children is hand, foot and mouth disease. This generally resolves without complication. Onychomadesis can also occur if the nail is damaged or suffers a loss of blood supply, for example due to a bruise. The nail bed turns black and the nail drops off shortly afterwards. It takes around 6 to 12 months to regrow. How to treat nail diseases? The basic principle is proper care and disease prevention. So here are the top tips on what you should and should never do to your nails. Trim your nails straight across, then round the tips in a gentle curve. Do not cut the nails too short. Keep fingernails dry and clean. This prevents bacteria from growing under your fingernails. Repeated or prolonged contact with water can contribute to split fingernails. 
Wear cotton-lined rubber gloves when washing dishes, cleaning or using harsh chemicals. Practice good nail hygiene. Use sharp manicure scissors or clippers. Use moisturizer. When you use hand lotion, rub the lotion into your fingernails and cuticles too. Do not bite your fingernails and do not pick at your cuticles. These habits can damage the nail bed. Do not use harsh nail care products. Limit your use of nail polish remover. When using nail polish remover, opt for an acetone-free formula. Folk remedies that will protect your nails. There are many nail care methods in traditional medicine, but few of them actually have scientifically proven benefits. Here are the best ones. Infuse parsley, celery, and dill in oil for two to three days. Take one spoonful of the remedy every day. It strengthens the nails. If your nails are brittle, replace your morning tea with horsetail brew. Take two glasses a day. Lemon procedures will also help strengthen the nails. Just cut a lemon and stick your fingers in the pulp for about 10 minutes. Don't do it very often, as the frequent use of lemon may cause nails to dry and harm them even more. You can also steam your nails in the decoction of celandine and baking soda. After steaming, be sure to treat the skin around the nails with good moisturizing cream. You can use an infusion of chamomile and mint. Just keep your hand in the liquid for about 15 minutes. Do it once a day for a couple of weeks. Prevention of nail diseases. It's easy to take your nails for granted, especially if you're not into manicures and pedicures. But if you don't take care of them, your nails can get out of hand. Keep these do's and don'ts in mind to stop nail problems before they start. Do clean up. If it's your habit to just rinse and go, it's time to rethink how you wash your hands. Germs can collect under your nails. You should scrub them with soap every time you wash your hands. Give yourself bonus points if you use a nail brush. Don't bite. Biting your nails can make you sick by giving cold-causing viruses an express ticket into your mouth. And if you happen to puncture or tear the skin, it sets you up for ingrown nails or infection. Got a hangnail? Cut it off. Don't bite or rip it. Do keep them dry. Bacteria and fungi thrive in moist environments. Plus, waterlogged nails are more likely to split. When you're done at the sink or in the shower, dry your hands and feet thoroughly. Pull on a pair of gloves when you clean or wash dishes. Wear socks and shoes made of breathable material and change them often, especially if the insides feel damp and sweaty. Do trim the right way. The healthiest nails are cut short and straight across. Long nails are more likely to break and tear and bacteria can live under them. When you trim your toenails, don't cut too deeply along the sides of them, or it could lead to an ingrown toenail. Nails too thick and hard to cut? Soak them in salty water. Then smooth on a cream that contains urea or lactic acid to soften them. These simple tips will help you keep your nails healthy, beautiful and strong. That's all we wanted to tell you today on this topic. On the channel you can find videos about the benefits of vegetables and fruits, about diseases and methods of their treatment, as well as about everything related to housekeeping and gardening. So please subscribe to the channel and click the bell. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your family and friends. See you soon!